Hi there, a quick tutorial for the nearest wins question. You can have more than one nearest wins question in a round or in a quiz, but uh, with the quiz packs that we provide, you just get one nearest wins question as a bonus question for the end of the round of for a tiebreaker or whatever you, however you might want to use it. So I'm going to click on that one uh, and we're going to imagine you've been doing um, the last round of questions where it's say 10 points per question, then you might do 30 points for the uh, nearest wins because only one team will score. That's the important thing. Only one team on a nearest wins question will score a large amount of points so if I click the little game rules book there it tells me what to read out I read out a question followed by a 10 second countdown whichever team input the number closest to the correct answer will get the 30 points in the event of a tie the points will go to whichever team submitted their answer first so you'd read that out and then you start the round so uh, that's a good nearest wins question because it would be very difficult to Google it. You've got to be careful with nearest wins questions because because it's for a, a big amount of points and only one team get it. If anyone is going to try and Google the answers uh, successfully or otherwise, it's going to be on a nearest wins question. So something like that where it would be difficult to... Um, use technology to get the answer is a good question. What you don't want is something like, in what year did this happen? So... Um, I read out the question, hypothetically, blah, 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 Thriller by Michael Jackson, and I hit the blue button as normal to put the, um, the question on the screen, start the 10 second countdown, people are answering the question, So as you can see there, uh, various different answers have come in and the only one to get it right is going to be the one who gets nearest to the correct answer. So we can see there the correct answer is 716 and the nearest to it is 236 points. But the same as like a, a keypad round, you just read what's on the screen. So you would say, right, the correct answer is 716 and I hit the blue button at the same time as saying the answer. And for submitting the closest answer of 236, the 30 points go to, and I hit the blue button again, Manuel. It's as simple as that, really, uh, on a nearest wins question. What I would advise is start the 10-second countdown as soon as you've finished out reading the question. Don't uh, wait ages for people to put their answer in. The game is they've just got to get in as fast as they can, and you don't want to give them too long to think about it. Uh, thanks for watching the nearest wins.